Hi, my name is Karen Lamont, and this is my piece, Reclining Dress Impression with Drapery. And my idea was to use clothing as a, a figurative representation that was not literal. I thought in that way it could be um, more universally appealing. Everybody has an intimate relationship with clothing and everybody gets dressed in the morning. Um, and I felt that a viewer coming upon the piece would be able to see things like the detailed stitching and there would be a direct communication. In 1999, I got a Fulbright grant, and um, I was a student at the Applied Arts Academy in the Czech Republic. And then I also worked at the Pelikoff um, studio, which is about an hour and a half outside of Prague. When I came there, I had a very unique vision of what I wanted to do with glass and how I wanted to use the material. And it's very much outside of the Czech tradition. The Czech tradition is beautiful and I adore it, but um, it's these geometric architectonic forms. Um, but I really wanted to do this sort of conceptual, very feminine work. In a way I kind of, I think of the dresses as my palette, the same way a painter would have their palette of colors. In a way like bows and ruffles and um, the colors and the textures of the material are, are my personal palette. In my studio, I have about 250 dresses. I oftentimes will cut them apart and build my own dress. The reclining dress impression with drapery is one of the first in the series of reclining pieces, inspired by the odalisque. I started looking at clothing and I really saw a language that was um, expressive, and sometimes on the borderline of grotesque. And then I cast it and it ended up looking so absolutely elegant that somehow in the transformation to glass, the dress had lost its exaggerated qualities and had just become elegant. The dress that I chose for reclining dress impression with drapery was a um, pink silk dress from the 1930s, plus or minus, and I found it in a secondhand store um, in the Czech Republic, a thrift shop. And what attracted me to it, that period of time was between the world, two world wars. The Czech Republic was the um, seventh largest economy in Europe, the first democracy in Europe. I felt that you could see it in the fashion, a sense of celebration, of optimism, and so I think that's what appealed to me about the dress. It, it was confident, savvy, um, extremely attractive, um, very alluring, um, but there was this sort of forward-looking energy that I liked very much. I've been accused of being a feminist in the Czech Republic, and um, I always say I'm not a feminist, I'm pro-feminine. Um, which is really allowing women to be women. I have heard the widest range of responses. I heard one woman, for example, it took me so by surprise, she said, look at that beautiful glass cage. Um, and I had never thought of these pieces as imprisoning. Um, I had thought of them as fragile, as um, alluring, as inviting. My original concept had been that by being able to see through the clothing and into the inner interior space of the body, that it would be an invitation. I really feel like I've kind of made it completely feminine. The works are in no way objectifying the female body, but celebrating it.